Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Welcome to Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Yeah. Big Mama's house. Welcome to Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Yeah. Welcome back to Big Mama's house, y'all. Mama and Papa back here with you again today to, to go over. Welcome to Plathville Season 4, Episode 11. Hello, y'all. Uh, I just want to thank you all for being here. It means thank a you, lot thank you. that you listen and, you know, join in with us on our reviews of these different families and things we're on with our family. Um, and it means a lot to us whenever you listen and you like us and you subscribe because it's free. Free, free. Um, so, yeah, just we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And we just started a Reddit page on a subreddit on, of course, Reddit called um, Big Mama's House Podcast. Uh, you can check us out there if you have anything you want to discuss or anything like that. Or comment. You can comment on the comments part section yeah. of the episode. I mean, if you want to be the first one to comment, we will shout you out. You know, we'll make a big deal. You'll be like our number one person because you're the only one that ever commented on our stuff. Right. So, okay, this episode. Um, all the kids are at the farm. Everyone, or Ethan, is very excited. Um, you know, that's, that's his home. That's his heart place to the farm with all his siblings. Yes. Um, and they're all, they all have really good memories of the place. And, um, Olivia is a downer, yep. as always. Just, oh, anyway. So all the kids, they're running around, they're climbing trees, and then Micah surprises everyone by showing up. They didn't think he'd be able to come. Um, and so... They're he, all happy, running around. Yeah, and then so he rings the bell to bring everybody in, mm -hmm. and they find that it's him who rang it. And that's how the, the mom, how Kim would have to do when the kids were little. They'd all be running all over the farm to bring him in for dinner. She'd ring the dinner, dinner bell. Yeah, and they'd all come running, and I think that's really, I think that's cool. And then Barry arrives. Don't they arrive together? Um, um, um to go to the farm. We're at the farm right now, right? Not the cemetery that you're talking about? Yeah, this is at the farm. Okay. Um hmm. No, he was no Michael was there first. I mean Barry and Kim arrived at the funeral at the, at the or, well, cemetery. I know, I know. We're at the I farm know. Know. Um Micah then found out that Olivia invited him and they play with Ethan's remote control plane mm -hmm. and Barry and the little girls climb a tree and, and Lydia. Um, and then uh, poor Kim is at home folding laundry alone while everyone is staying at the farm that night. And she is feeling very hurt. And dude, can you blame her at all? No, I do not. And she said, how do you gather for my deceased son's birthday and not invite the mother? I don't understand the Kim haters either. Kim has done nothing wrong for any any viewer to dislike her. Yes. Because yeah, she realizes now that, situation, that, yeah. that, that the way they did certain things was wrong. Yes. And they they fully admit that, you know? Um, and it's not like they're trying to defend their way with the way they did it and, you know, keep it on for the younger kids. So I really don't understand people who don't allow people to be human and make mistakes. Because it wasn't like if they were neglectful or abusive, you know, they did what they thought was right. Um, and then Kim said that she will be at the grave site. It's her, well, he's should, her son. He should be. And she said, if you don't like it, you can come or you don't. She should be there more than Olivia. She has more right to be there. Absolutely. I mean, Olivia's ten percent. Olivia's only there to support Ethan. I understand that. But Olivia, the Olivia spouse, should have no say in who comes. It shouldn't be about you. You nope. should put your feelings aside, no matter how you feel about your in-laws, and be there for your spouse. 100%. I agree. And then um, it shows Ethan back at the farm, and he loves it. He loves it way better than Tampa, he says, obviously, because we all know he's not, like, super happy there. Nope. And he thinks that it makes sense for Kim to be there. And well, that... Is a huge like yeah. step forward right there. I think that was like the big softening um, of Ethan towards his mom a little bit, like uh, the the uh, yes. like not thinking of her as negative, like you don't even have her to be here, that kind of thing. Um, and 
So Isaac calls her and asks her if she'll be there. And she says yes. Yes, good. Um, and they tell the other kids, and Mariah asks if Olivia knows. Because Mariah is always the first one to worry about Olivia and her feelings all the time. Well, yeah. And Ethan said he hasn't talked to her. Like, how do you not talk to your spouse all day? But like, I don't understand that. Like, you and I would not be like that. No. Um, and Ethan says if she doesn't like it, then she can stay here and watch the campfire. We'll pick her up when we're done. And to me, that makes sense. Again, if she's not going to be comfortable... He, you know, he's like, okay, fine. She can just hang here and we'll all we'll come back. You know, it's not a big deal. He's not going to fight her over it. Right. And he said, like, we came up here to see my brother for his birthday with my family. I wish it wasn't such a big deal. And I don't blame him. Like, it can't even be, like, it's his brother, you know? And I... You know, you think he'd open his eyes a little bit to... I just don't know why Ethan stays married to her. I don't. This loyalty point, honestly I, I think that's the only thing it was ingrained in him that you stay with someone and, he, and i know he loves her and he's done everything in the world to try to understand her accept her you know forgive her yeah. you know just let her basically turn him into someone he's not to make well, her happy he obviously loves her more than she loves him At 100%. in my opinion he loves her a hundred percent more than she loves him. I, I don't think she loves him at all. I think she's only there for the show and the money. Yep. She wants out and has for a long and time. like the free travel. Mm-hmm. Yep, right. and all the perks of the show. Well, plus, you know, they endorse her photography job. Yes. I'm sure that didn't hurt her business nope. at all. Nope. Um, And then Mariah and the little girls find her and tell her that Kim will be there at the grave. And, um, and... And she gets upset. And they're all going to be there together for him. Yeah, and I and I'm, I remember her getting upset and just walking away. And then Olivia starts tearing up. Mm -hmm. And she says she felt panicked. And she's like, I kind of have to get out of here. This isn't... Kim has done nothing no, to no. Olivia ever. If it's just about the, what we find out later on, this is stupid. Yeah, the, her reactions make zero sense. Exactly, yeah. At all. And then... Mariah said she spends a lot of time worrying about Olivia, which is what I just said, she, all her all this time about Olivia. She and shouldn't she said, matter at all. But today isn't about her. And I'm like, yes, thank you. And she said she doesn't even ask if I'm okay. It's ridiculous to me. Yes, Mariah, girl, 100%, you're right here, 100%, because it's your family she doesn't hold on y'all okay y'all that's one of the things that happens whenever you do a podcast in the middle of your kitchen is um you know timers go off because people are cooking things um but we were just having this little conversation in the midst of waiting for the kitchen news to be done and um papa's birthday was not that long ago and i tried a new kind of a new recipe for the peanut butter icing that he loves. And I knew it was uh, going to be either a big old hit or a big old miss. And our pop. That's a foul tip. Bless his okay. heart. Just he wants his same old basic whatever he likes all the time. And I get that now. I understand that. Now say what you just said. Like the regular like, everyday old. You know that I. Yeah don't be. You know that I. What you just said? Ruin the icing. Oh, I, oh, that you love me more than anything, but you don't have to ruin the icing to prove it. That's what you said. Yes, and I was just like, "Oh my lord!" And I was like, you know, he started out with the, "I know you love me more than anything," and I was like, "Oh," and he goes, "But you don't have to ruin icing to prove it." And I'm like, "Oh, there's my husband. There he is." Um. But yeah, I, it's just a little interesting. These are the things that happen all the time around here that I'm just like, why aren't we recording? Because people would just sometimes would not understand. I'm a simple man, just yeah. give me regular old, go to Walmart or whatever store you go to, pick up icing, put some peanut butter in it, mix it up, lather it on my Well, that's not all that I do exactly. It's not that's quite that simple. That's but, all I need. 
Oh, oh, and so from now on, I know we're not experimenting trying new things for Papa's cakes. I don't need the Willy Wonka's Oompa Loompas in here making my icing, okay? Oh, my. Uh, the reason the icing didn't turn out right is because normally Papa is the one that helps me with the icing making. And um, I didn't, he couldn't obviously help with his own birthday cake. That's against the law. So, um, yeah, I didn't have anybody to help me with and we my icing. Go to jail. No, court, I can't go to birthday jail. We'll take your birthday away. Yeah, more good. Gosh. Maybe I should go to jail. For <laughs> anyway, you guys, Don't back to the show. Birthday. That was just a little interesting little tidbit about the happens behind the scenes here. Um, and so it was just after um, Mariah said that uh, she spends all her time worrying about Olivia's feelings and she didn't even ask if she's okay. And then when Ethan uh, asks Olivia if she's coming to the grave with them, she says, I don't know. And Ethan says, everybody's going to be there. And Olivia's like, okay. And he's like, I don't understand what she means. Well, well I don't understand what she must be feeling to react this way. I see a tantrum. <laughs> and what do you... That's a tantrum. It was. And he says, when is it going to be time for her to move on? That's a very interesting question, Ethan. When they get the Why don't you stay on that line of truck thought for like a while and figure that shit out yeah after you divorce her then you can move on and she can well move i mean on. if he keeps on the open-minded of like this it's is not, a tantrum like why isn't she moving on she's not and like maybe he'll get tired of it like the rest of us are the only way she moves on is if they divorce and she goes on her little way that is oh, the no, only this, way she'll still talk about this the rest of her life that that's her story and how they, they get divorced she won't be the able to class share. ruined her life yeah you know that'll be a tell-all book um, and then Mariah asks Ethan if Olivia is okay. Again, always worried about Olivia. That's always Mariah's first thought. And Ethan said, I don't know. She should be adult or mature enough to go to someone's grave. I'm sick of this. He says, like, to himself as he walks away. And, dude, we're with you. We're all sick of it. We're all sick of your wife. No. Yeah. Um... And then we, we see Kim and Barry are the first ones to arrive at Joshua's grave on his birthday. He would have been 15. Yeah. And it really, 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 really irritates me that two people, will take like one person and one person that sticks up for the wrong person, yeah. can dictate relations for every for the entire family. And that's what they accuse Kim of doing. But it's really those two, you know? And then um, Lydia, Micah, and Isaac arrive, and Ethan brings Mariah and the little girls. And we find out that Olivia rode with a production crew member, um, and she's just going to stay in the car. Why so, you go? So childish. Because she wants to cause drama. I'm going to know she's there. She's going to be uh, focused. She's pouting that they're not uh, making everything about her, you know? Yeah. And it's not about her. Nope. This isn't called the Olivia show. Right. It's Welcome Plath to Olivia. Bill. Yeah. And she's not really a Plath. She's only a Plath by marriage. And then uh, they're all surrounded the grave. And Barry says that hopefully next year Hosanna and Olivia can be there. And Olivia says, uh, even says she's feeling sorry for herself. And she's angry that she wasn't there for the kids. What about your husband? Those kids weren't even born. They don't know Joshua. They nope. only know it as a story. They don't have an... I don't... Like, as a small child, when you didn't even know the, the person, they don't have an emotional connection. No, and if she's talking about the kids, meaning Mariah and Micah and, and, Ethan. and Lydia... And Ethan. But that's like and Isaac. But I don't even know. Isaac was an infant. But I don't again, think she cares about any of them. She just made that an excuse. No, she said that she's angry that she wasn't. She's angry at herself that she wasn't there for really the kids. kids. He doesn't care about the kids. And then, like, not your husband. It's all for the show. And then Olivia says, in the moment, she was reeling. She needed support, and she doesn't know how to manage herself. What? Go to therapy. You need, she needs more in therapy. She needs a swift kick in the ass. 
a reality check. Yeah. That you are not the center of anybody's universe but your own, lady. Um, And then uh, we find that Joshua died when Mariah was six and she saw everything that happened. Ethan said that he blocks it out and buries it, which sounds about par for the course with Ethan. Yeah. Um, and some yeah. people initially like naturally react that way. Um, and those are the people that, you know, end up needing the therapy the most because they've never dealt with anything. Yep. No, I agree. Totally agree. Um, and Ethan said he's tired of the divide, but it's hard to take the first step at the, after the, everyone's done and they're like going to their cars and he sees his mother walking away. And he says to himself, so damn awkward. And um, Kim really wants, or no, he really wants to talk to Kim, but not today. Yeah, today's a bad day. Soon. And Kim is very hopeful that that might happen. So then after the cemetery, the kids make plans to meet at the pool hall in town. Didn't Ethan tell his mom that? He called his mom back and he's like, I want to talk to you, but not today. Yes, thank you. That's what I meant. Yeah. Was that yeah? He called. He went over to her and yeah. said, "Hey, I want to talk to you, but not." I want to talk to you about the divorce, but not today. Soon. Yes. Yeah, soon. And that made Kim hopeful. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, she was happy. She. I left yeah. out the first part of that. No, no, no she was happy. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, went yeah, back to and, her and it made her very hopeful yeah. so that things might get reconciled yeah. between them. Thank you for catching that. I appreciate that, You're my welcome. my friend. No problem. So I'm here. So then after that, the kids all make plans to meet at the pool hall in town, and Olivia wants to talk to him when they arrive. And she says, you ignored me all day long. That's pretty much how she yeah. sounded. Yeah. And she follows him down the sidewalk. Fucking stop. If I matter to you, you'll listen when I talk. Then what's he say? Again. Sounds almost exactly like what she yeah. said. And he said... You do matter, but you're asking something that can't happen right now. And she's like, you've been rude all day long. And he's like, you were rude because you didn't show up to my dead brother's grave. So that's on you. And yep. he walks away. Good for Ethan. And I'm like, and I was it's a hope. time. I was having hope that maybe by the end of the season that they would... That he would smarten up and they'd be separated and possibly divorced. Because the best thing that could happen to Ethan is to get rid of her. Or, I mean, let's be real. He loves her. The best it thing would be that she would realize that... It's not going to happen. I'm, I'm saying, and we're talking best case scenario. Okay, fine. Okay. They do some serious intense therapy. She realizes that she's a controlling narcissist. He realizes that he's been a codependent um, doormat. And they come together and fix it and happily ever after. Everybody reconciles and all that. Do you think? No, I don't gonna think that's going to happen. Yeah. I just think that would be best case scenario to me. That she would actually come around and, and be a, a better person on the show? Yes. It's not going to happen. No, I'm, I'm no, saying. No, it's best case scenario, but yeah. in real life, not going to happen. No, but that would be best case scenario. Yeah. And Olivia said she didn't realize not going to the grave was such... A big deal. Are you fucking with me right now, Olivia? Like, I'm just like, are you telling jokes? Is that your what's he happening? Put his disdain towards his mother aside. To that's how big this is. Yeah, his disdain for his wife was so large that he forgot his programming for a minute. Exactly. And like connected with his mom on a, on that little level about her. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he said it was awkward to be there with his mom. Yes. You know, well, which of is... Of course. Yeah. We, yeah. We haven't talked to each other for how long? Right. But he still did it for his family. That's how big it is. Out of respect for his brother. Absolutely. And brother, exactly. And, yeah, and for 100%. everybody else. Yeah. And she said she didn't know she that you wanted me there so much and how it would affect you so much. And I didn't realize how much pain he was in. So Are you fucking it, serious? So I take it he doesn't really talk about... Well, we know that we all we know that Ethan doesn't talk about much, and he even said he buried it, and he tried to he's like blocked it out. Yeah, and so of course he doesn't talk about it. But no, like she knew that when he came home, that he was upset about something, and she knew it was probably about his parents' the separation. Yeah, right. So she knows him well enough to know when he's upset about something. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
So don't sit here and tell me that you didn't know Olivia because you just didn't care because all you cared about was Olivia. That's that's the truth. As usual. As usual, that's that's one hundred percent. And Ethan said he tries to stand up for her, support her, but he doesn't feel like she does that for him. And again, I'm like, yes, finally. So he's so he's slowly getting deprogrammed. Yeah, I mean, because this was a big deal for him mm -hmm. and then for the whole family. I mean, it was very traumatizing for everyone that was aware of what in the family what happened. It was, it was just like um, only Mike got an older. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't even have words for how irritated and wrong I feel about her yeah. and her actions. Um, and then Micah said he gets really annoyed. It, it gets really annoying being in the middle and Olivia's feelings are important, but not everything is about her feelings. And Micah, Mariah, and Ethan are now on the same page. And I'm yep. like, yay. Oh. And then Olivia arrives at the pool hall with the little girls and she puts a damper on everyone who is having a good time and just chilling. The black cloud. It makes it awkward. The black cloud walks in the door. And said that she never thought about the kids wanting and needing her support. So she's thinking about Micah and Mariah and maybe Lydia. Maybe. Which they never even think about I don't, Lydia. I don't think it's Lydia. No. When Lydia and Isaac, it's she don't It's Micah and Mariah. It's, yeah. And I'm like, again, what about your husband who just told you how hurt he was that you didn't come and be there for him? Yep. And again, not sinking in her brain at all because she does not love him. He was her ticket to freedom, and now he's just a wall in the way of the rest of her freedom. He's her ticket to fame now. And money, which yeah. is all that matters. Yeah. Um, and Mariah has reached her boiling point with all of the drama. She's done and over it. She's tired of fragile relationships. If you have to constantly walk on eggshells around someone's feeling for like the last three or four years, yep. trying to make that person happy, and then you make one decision that doesn't make them happy and it affects your whole relationship, that's not a true friend. And I'm like, Mariah is on fire. Yeah. And then she says, it hurts to say that, but it's the harsh reality I'm waking up to. I love Olivia. But if someone is going to make me choose, I'm going to choose the person that's not making me choose. I'm done choosing. Were you just Lydia right there and you're singing? Was I lit? Oh, stop. Yeah. Because I can't sing? No, that no, no, no. I'm, I'm, not saying you, I'm not saying you can't sing. You can sing. But I'm saying you went in the song just like Lydia does once in a while on the show. Oh, well, again, I think they're all trying to push their own music careers. You know, <laughs> are live at the sound of music. But yeah, I thought that was an interesting episode in the aftermath and sort of, well, the the actual incident of the grave visit, which was what caused the started the big rift between yes. Olivia and almost everyone else, and um, it just shows how blatantly narcissistic she is, and it just I it drives me so crazy. It's hard for me to even talk about this episode and some of the ones coming up because. It's so blatant, and there are still so many damn people who just are rabid if you say anything negative about her. Oh, I know. I've been on some of the Facebook pages. You know, and even if you're just straight up being honest and, and using actual psychological terms and definitions, these people are, are nuts and about some her. some of them, well, probably they're just, they're just like her, probably, because you can't have a conversation with them. Exactly. You can't have a, a nice little debate. It's a, it, they make it personal and nasty. Exactly. And, and that's just how Olivia is. And they're so immature. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, that was season four, episode 11 of Welcome to Plathville. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for hanging with us. Um, I, if there's anything you guys want to hear, you know, if you have suggestions, please let us know. We want to make, yes, we want to comment. We want to be who we are. We want to be real and tell you like our, take on things but you know we want to make a show that everyone's happy with and that you enjoy so you know let us know what you're looking for um if there's anything anything else you know always reach out to us on any platform we're on all of them i think yeah, except for apple yeah um but everything else we're on spotify youtube um 
<laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Reddit. X or Twitter and Reddit. Um, and we have a TikTok, but we don't really use it yet. I haven't figured it out yet. So if y'all want to teach me, I'm game. Anyway, you guys, have a great one. Be safe out there. And until next time, please use your turn signal. Subscribe. Please wear your seatbelt. Subscribe. Please stay in to your pet. Subscribe. And please, y'all, be kind. Until next, next time. time. Bye. Bye.